Okay. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, happy International Women's Day. Um, today uh, is a great day, beautiful day, actually. We're going to talk a little bit about gratitude. So for those of you who don't know me too well, uh, my name is Cindy Robertson. I've been a full-time realtor now for 16 years and completed over 300 successful transactions during my career. Uh, and for that, I am sincerely grateful. Um, so uh, attitude of gratitude, and this is about how to harm. Okay, so exactly. Gratitude is a super powerful emotion that occurs when we appreciate all the good and positive things in our life, whether it's material. And then just turn your video off and that should work. Okay. Yeah, my internet, I'm in the country. It can be a little mm -hmm. bit funny, a little glitch in the process. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, back to, um, it's not a catchphrase or idea, de decades of scientific studies. Um, uh, gratitude has been scientifically proven to have the ability to boost our levels of serotonin and dopamine. So um, dopamine is actually the brain's pleasure chemical. And who doesn't want a little more pl pleasure in their brain, right? Okay. So what exactly are the benefits of gratitude? Um, you know, you might say that's all fine and dandy, Cindy, but um, now how the heck does that apply exactly to increasing my sales volume? Um, well, I'm going to tell you how to harness this very powerful emotion to have actual positive effects on your business. So gratitude. So this is a cool photo I took in Punta Cana, and I thought this guy was like the epitome of multitasking. <laughs> who couldn't buy from him right um so what does gratitude do it reduces our feelings of stress and anxiety and less stress translates to a more focused approach it makes us more resilient to negative emotions and those bumps in the road helps us to bounce back quicker from setbacks helps us to cope better so you know this this business that we're in in real estate it can be very stressful and we almost always have some bumps in the road on any transaction. So being able to be resilient and cope with it just makes our lives uh, more successful. Helps us sleep better, which in turn gives us better daily energy levels. So I learned a hack years ago <clears throat> from, a, from, I don't know where I learned it actually, but um, if you're, you know, when you wake up, sometimes you have a really busy day the next day, you might wake up at 3 a.m. and your mind's racing and you can't sleep. And I learned to just take it down through this hack. So you think to yourself, am I warm? Yes. Am I safe? Yes. Do I have a roof over my head? Yes, I do. Am I fed? Yes, I am. That's all that's important in that, in that moment. And if you can just keep to that thought, then you get back to sleep. And that's just, you know, really a, an example of expressing gratitude. Gives us a more positive attitude, which is very attractive to those around us. So people love to be in the company of good energy. Everyone wants to bask in the sunshine of someone who's just got that positive attitude. So that definitely helps us with networking. I'm sure you've all met people that, you know, they're just a joy to be around. And um, and so they make more friends. They get along better with their coworkers, et cetera. And it helps our self-esteem. So um, gives us more confidence. And more confidence radiates an attitude of success to those around us. So we walk into evals. We want to be that confident person um, that's just going to, you know, be in it to win it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a direct example um, in my career of where shifting my mindset to one of gratitude uh, was a huge boost for me. So in August of 2009, I listed up a property at 200 South Channel Drive in Keswick. I'm sure you guys know the street. So it was a client of mine, um, uh, worked for the bank, and it was a bank sale. And she told me that she had Georgina Waterfront. Woohoo! I was like only a year into my career. I was so excited. Georgina Waterfront. Wow. So I drive up to the property and uh, well, my balloon popped pretty quickly because it was uh, 
a tiny house um, on the waterfront. There were so many spiders in the front entrance. I actually had to go borrow a broom from the next door neighbor to get all the spiders out just to enter the home. Got into the home. Everything is circa 1962 and not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> Even the kitchen table, I think, was 1962. So the poor old Walter had passed away and he was a frugal man and just thought, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, I mean, the carpet, the light fixtures, brown paneled walls, there's like some dead mice hanging around. So I was, you know, I, I knew I had my work cut out for me. Now, this was in 2009. This was just coming off the U.S. subprime mortgage situation that happened. So, I mean, homes were not flying off the shelf. There was no multiple offers happening. It, it was a, just a super different market at that time. Um, so anyways, went about to list the house, was in my first open house, you know, and no one's coming in. I guess I'm feeling sorry for myself. And then suddenly I was just sitting in the living room and the sun shone in and I just realized like there's this great energy in this house. It's amazing. And right. I remember right in that moment, my mind shift changed and I thought, you know what? Like he could renovate this house. This house is awesome. And I was thinking of all the things you could do to fix it up. And I just thought, that's it, man. I'm taking this opportunity. Like I am going to sell this house. So I actually went out, I knocked on doors, I talked to the neighbors, there were some questions about the house, you know, or um, it couldn't be answered because the owner had passed. And I knocked on doors, said, you know, bring your friends, who wouldn't want to live with their friends or their relatives on the street? And I opened house and I, I just went all full in. So the, a couple of days later, I get a sign call and there's a lady that wants to come and see the house. So I think I'm pretty sure on that evening, I actually had plans, but I nope, I'm all in. So cancel the plans, show up at the house at the day and time she wants, showed them the house. I'm super pumped, telling them all the great things about it. And uh, so we go outside and, and the son is the one buying and the son says, uh, you know what, Cindy, I think it's just a little too small for me. I said, okay, well, let's go out tomorrow tomorrow night I can meet you same time and let's go see some other homes and we'll find you something that fits so they look at each other they say okay sure now you notice I didn't say I'm going to put you on a drip I didn't say uh I'll call you in a week it was like right away seizing the moment tomorrow night same time let's go see homes so they said sure so they they actually I found Greg a home and it was great and they didn't buy that home but they did through referrals to family and friends, 16, one, six more closed transactions with me. So that was just an amazing uh, source of referral. And, um, you know, that didn't even include, so the, the transactions that they referred me didn't even include other spinoff business from those sales, which would have been also quite massive, you know, open house, it leads and um, other call-ins, et cetera. Um, and another cool aspect to my experience, um, my client was widowed, actually quite tragically. She was a single mom of two boys. Um, one became a professional hockey player down the road. I was recently divorced at the time, also a single mom. And she was a super strong and super su successful businesswoman really disciplined she had the most beautiful home she had a great circle of friends and took the most amazing vacations uh, I, I was quite in awe of her life and it was a life that she created on her own this was not money from her husband passing or anything she went out every day and hit it hard uh, I was new to the business in uncharted territory with only myself to rely on so you see how the universe brought this person into my life at exactly the right time as the mentor I needed to move forward to success. Um, did I have bumps along the way with these transactions, these 15 transactions I was awarded? Yeah, oh, for sure. But gratitude got me through it. Did I work hard to earn these referrals? You betcha. If they said jump Cindy, uh, my response was like, how high? Yes, I'm jumping. How high do you you need me to jump today and then I'm going to jump some more. 
So I, I really, you know, worked my butt off uh, to get further referrals with all that. I mean, it's always the opportunity and then it's the work, right? Uh, soon enough, I had my own beautiful home. I had great vacations, and I'm proud to say that I put my daughter through university without student debt, all on my own with no financial support from any anyone. And wonderful life became my wonderful life. So you see, gratitude is magnetic. The more gratitude you have, the more abundance you magnetize. And I really believe that to be true, guys. Uh, so here's some gratitude hacks, tips and tricks that you can actually apply to your business. When you're prospecting, smile. It translates through the phone. Think to yourself, I'm appreciative. I'm super appreciative of the person who answered my phone call. You know, a lot of people don't answer. So when we get someone on the phone, we have to be thankful. If you can't, if you're, you know, in a blah mood that day, think of something, project something into your mind that you are going to be happy for I'm going to go home cook my favorite dinner or I'm going to go out, uh, out tonight and you know do whatever or I'm going to buy myself some tulips on the way home or something that's going to make you happy so that when you're on the phone you're in that that good mindset we drive a lot in this business so when you have a long drive ahead um, think about the nice alone time you can have I, I love my family, but I personally love my alone time. So um, to me, that's something I look forward to where I can listen to a book on um, Audible, my favorite playlist at top volume. Hey, sing karaoke if you want to. Whatever gets you going in the car to make the drive more pleasurable is great. When you have a challenging situation with a transaction, and we all do, appreciate the learning experience you are receiving. As the saying goes, an experienced sailor never got there by, by only navigating calm seas. So for sure, we're going to have, um, you know, we're going to have challenges. And that's good because every challenge brings us a learning experience. Gratitude in nature. Uh, this is so great, guys. Like a day like yesterday, we all have dogs. And I know a lot of you like to get out and walk your dogs. I, I went out twice yesterday and walked my dogs. It was beautiful. So when we get out in, in nature and just it just makes us have gratitude um, because it's just so beautiful and the, all the great smells. And, you know, if you look at the complexity of the flowers and everything, it's amazing. So that in itself releases stress, improves our health, actually boosts happiness and focus. We always feel better after we get outside. It just makes you feel alive and makes you feel grounded. There's actually, um, there's a study now about grounding um, where if you actually put your bare feet on the ground, <laughs> funny enough, take off your, in the summer, of course, um, it's supposed to be super healthy for your body. Like can actually uh, heal you. So in the summertime when I'm, um, know out gardening and stuff I try to be out there barefoot on the lawn as much as I can and gratitude just give the love why not right just spread it like confetti guys you know it's just so easy to give someone a compliment I mean of course always genuinely um, genuinely happy for others success so try not to ever have envy or jealousy we want to, when someone gets up there and, and, you know, they've got success, chances are they worked hard for it. And if anything, um, utilize that in your mind as um, inspiration, inspiration that, you know, that uh, you can do the same thing. Um, and, and just spreading the love uh, makes the world a better place. Always love and support your colleagues. We are a team and there is strength in numbers. Um, I went, I had a lady call me last year and she told me that she, she had a realtor. She came through an open house and she had a realtor, which is why I didn't follow up with her. But um, she mentioned that she had been trying to find my number for a while. She had come into an open house and she said she was having a really hard time uh, in life at the time. And she said, Cindy, you're just so making me laugh and lighting it up and complimenting me. And she said, you know, I just left feeling so good. 
And I was wondering if I'm thinking, well, how do I really know this was me? I mean, there's so many realtors out there, but she said, you gave me eggs. And then I remembered I had the surplus of farm fresh eggs. So I'd actually taken a cooler to my open house. It was giving people out a dozen, a dozen uh, farm fresh eggs at the time. So I knew that was me. And that just, you know, I had woken up that day kind of feeling, you know, mediocre. And after that phone call, I felt so good. Like she it came back to me. She felt happy. And then I, I felt happy too. So that was awesome. Um, so giving gratitude is just a great mindset to have. Um, all in all, gratitude is free. It's so quick to implement. And it's likely one of the most powerful tools on your path to success. Thank you, everyone. Um, uh, grateful for all of you and hoping you may have a story to share of a moment in your career where gratitude applied. Does anyone else have uh, a story they can share with us? Nope. I'm happy to share something. It's not necessarily a story, but um, this kind of. Uh, last couple of years had been uh, really difficult for me. Starting in 2020, it was just one thing after another. I'd have friends be like, I don't know how you are dealing with this. Why, you know, everything is happening to you right now. But I kind of got in a really negative mindset, which was really unlike me. Um, and not to my fault, it just, it happens. And I found this book. I don't know if anybody has read it or Cindy, you, and it's called The Magic. Anybody familiar? No. Yes. So it's it's the same people that wrote um person that wrote the secret, but this the magic is about um gratitude. And so it's a tw I think it's a 28 day um kind of activity book if you will. So in, you can do it one activity a day in terms of a gratitude activity or you can stretch it out if that's just kind of too busy, but it was life changing for me and it got you in the habit of being grateful. And you said something that um, really resonated with me. And it was just like, the more grateful you are, the more abundance flows your way. And that that was really the mindset behind it. And it's simple things, you could be like grateful, pulling up to a, you know, a busy store and grateful for, for the parking lot that you're going to get. And it's just like, almost every time it'd be like, front spot. Um, but then more and more serious things as well. And um, yeah, I can't, uh, I, this, this really resonated with me today. I can't agree more. I love that Alex. Thank you. And I've written mm -hmm. down that book, the magic. So I'm going to, so I'm going to get a copy of that. I can't, I can't wait to read it. Or that might be my next uh, audible in the car yeah. for the long drive. <laughs> oh yeah. It's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. That's so true. And Cindy, I want to jump in, Samantha here. Um, I just want to say I really appreciated how you uh, brought in the perspective of how challenging it could be in this industry and just keeping up with that attitude of gratitude because it can be easy to be grateful when things are going well, to identify those things that are really um, making our life great. But during times of um, adversity, difficulty, I think it's great to um, think about these um, great tips about gratitude and um I just want to add something in my past. Um, when I was doing my master's, I was uh, preparing for my defense just a few minutes before I was entering into uh, the room with my committee. And uh, just one of my um, my graduate colleagues came up to me and gave me a big hug. And I was very grateful for that because it doesn't happen often. And it just made me feel so good uh, to have someone give me a big hug before a big um, defense. Oh, that's so nice, Samantha. I'm I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. And that's that's the little things that, you know, someone takes the time to do and it, it doesn't cost them anything and it just makes such a huge difference. You probably remember that for life. So that's mm -hmm. that's lovely. Love to hear that. Thank you. Thanks for contributing. Anybody else? I'll just add and yep. say, so I use, I'm the five minute journal. So I wake up and fill that out every morning and in the evening. So basically just sets the tone for the day, right? You do your affirmations, what you're looking to do. So if you wake up not feeling so great or whatnot, that just sets the tone for the day. And so I've been definitely life-changing. Yeah, Caroline, that's so true. And actually that's something I was going to add in um, 
to the presentation is that they they do say it's super important to uh, write down. You know, everyone has something they can start with that they're grateful for, and then to add to the list, add to the list. I used to write it down, um, but every time it was sort of like <laughs> my dogs, my husband, not necessarily in that order, but it was so, so what I actually like to do is opposed to writing it down. And this is just personally, um, I like to just take a few quiet moments um, in every day. So, you know, on a day like yesterday, I might take five minutes and just pull up a chair outside in the sun and just sit down super quiet uh, no one around, no talking, and just start to kind of take it in and reflect, uh, look around and think of all the things that I'm grateful for. Um, so that's that's my way, is is just a few minutes of quiet time every day. But uh, I, they do say you should write it down. I think that's awesome. Have a journal, gratitude journal. Well, um, I wanted to add something too. Sorry, it's Lisa. Um... I apologize for not having my camera on today. My internet's not great. Um, I just wanted to make a point too that with gratitude, sometimes we are going through a bad patch and we have to be grat uh, grateful for those bad times too. Um, I dealt with cancer and I remember oh. days when I felt absolutely horrible. I felt like I was going to die. I felt like there was no point to live on. And you really have to pull out those moments of strength and think to yourself and think to God or whoever it is that you pray to about even in those bad times that there are good things that you can be grateful for. Grateful for your strength, grateful for the fact that you had that breath that day. So even when you feel like you're in that really crappy part of your life, um, there's always something that you can find that you can be grateful for. So I just wanted to share that too. Wow. What a great share, Lisa. Thank you so much. Wow. That's, that's something. And and they say, you know, in those really tough times is when um, people reflect on gratitude. Um, and it, it does, it makes you, makes you so grateful for everything. Um, but I think also we should try to be grateful, not have to have the tough times to bring that gratefulness out. Like just try to, um, in the good times and in the bad times, have it. But what a great story. Thanks for sharing that. Anybody else? Okay, guys. I guess that's it. I just one just one last little thing I'm gonna add. Um, I thought for International Women's Day, it was kind of cool that um that client of mine decided to uh help me uh with all those referrals, um, the 15 referrals. So that's sort of women mentoring women and uh great for International Women's Day. Um, and then one other little tidbit that that experience probably would have stopped at um, six transactions. So she did a she, her son bought her other son bought. She sold her house and bought and then introduced me to her friend, Gail, who did a sell and a buy. And it might have stopped there, except that she mentioned to me her friend Donna was um thinking of selling her home so i don't i'm not going to say this was the right thing to do but i was pretty brazen back in the day and uh i called donna <laughs> that's back when people had home phones and i actually called donna and um and said hey i i you know i hear that you might be thinking of selling your home would you like a home evaluation and then it was from donna that the, you know, the rest of all those referrals came in. So um, sometimes you just got to take the leap. And I did get a little bit of grief for that after, but um, not too much. So it was okay. It all worked out great. Everyone got lots of great help. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today.